All right, Shalom, once again, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rekha Kodash. All right, um, you know, on this go-round, you know, we're going to do a little something different, like, um, it's kind of like based on, you know, in the world, or, you know, sometimes, you know, they got, you know, um, you know, like, uh, you know, top 10, top 50 lists of, um, you know, whatever and all that. All right, but, um, you know, today we're just going to go through, um, or, you know, um, you know, um, it's like it's just going to be my uh, top 12 scriptures. You know, I was going to go with 10, but, um, you know, 12 is a more, or, you know, spiritual number. All right, but, um, you know, without further ado, all right, this is going to be, um, all right, scriptures uh, 12 through 9. All right, so the first scripture I'm going to get. All right, is Isaiah, all right, 28 and 10. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. All right? All right, you know, and that's talking about, you know, um, it's one of my favorite scriptures because uh, when I was, like, first coming in, like, it gave me, you know, an understanding of how, are you know, the scriptures work. Or, you know, it's like a, um, it's, um, it's along the lines of a, um, you know, of, of a puzzle. You know, rather than, you know, how the apostles put it, you know, a Harlequin novel. Meaning something you read from, um, you know, cover to cover in order. Alright? Or, you know, that's how I was, um, you know, reading the scriptures, you know, when I, um, or, you know, uh, you know, when I was still in, you know, the churches and all that, you know, they gave me a free Bible. Alright, but, um, or, you know, the thing is, you know, as far as, you know, getting, you know, proper understanding of, um, or, you know, sound doctrine. Or, you know, you need to go uh, precept, you know, upon precept. You know, for example, you know, there might be something, you know, in the New Testament or that you won't have a proper understanding of, or, you know, until, or, you know, you read a precept in the Old Testament. Or, you know, and even, you know, these Christians that, um, you know, think that the Apocrypha is not, are you know, um, are, you know, divinely inspired. All right. Or, you know, why, then, uh, why, why in the book of Matthew, does it talk about the Feast of Dedication, and the only other scriptures right, that talk about the Feast of Dedication are located in the Apocrypha, or, you know, in the book of Maccabees, or, you know, so, you know, that, you know, um, you know, reading the scriptures precept upon precept, or, you know, you won't get, you know, confounded, or, you know, you won't get caught up in any, you know, false doctrines either, because you can, um, or, you know, you can, uh, you know, dismantle it spiritually. All right, we're still going to be in Isaiah. Or, you know, this time it's going to be Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. All right? So, you know, and now, you know, that, that's another, um, you know, that's another scripture that, um, or, you know, can, um, or, you know, safeguard you from people, or, you know, trying to get you to go off. Or, you know, they give you their whole, you know, um, you know, spiel, their rundown as far as, you know, what they're about. Or, you know, but if it doesn't match up with the scriptures, or, you know, you, um, or, you know, you basically, you know, tell them to kick rocks, basically. So, you know, as far as, you know, um, or, you know, any, um, any, any person that claims to, um, you know, be a man of the Lord, or, you know, and things like that, or, you know, they have to be speaking, or, you know, according to this word. Or, you know, um. Uh, as far as um, you know, when it comes to all these Israelite groups, you all these um, or you know, Christians and all that, or you know, that, that try to um, you know, call themselves you know, rebuking you or correcting you, or you know, if the, what they say doesn't match up with the scriptures, then you know, you know, they're they're um, what they have to say doesn't mean jack shit, or you know, and that's that's why that's you know, one of my favorite scriptures. All right, next we have um. <clears throat> Right, Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Alright, so you know, and that's um, you know, that that scripture, you know, should like pump you up. Or you know, that should um, you know, exhort you, that should lift up your spirit. Or, you know, because it goes into, um, or, you know, you know, you know, the promise, the reward, or, you know, for, um, or, you know, in, enduring hardness, or, you know, for doing the work, doing the shows, or, you're keeping the faith, 
all right you know there's um you know what we're doing this for a reward or you know and that scripture you know reassures us or you know that what we're doing you know isn't in vain or you know having um you know rulership over the heathen or you know that have rulership over us or you know the ones you know um you know you know the ones that we um you know because if you're not working for you know esau you're either working for um you know elam or uh, ishmael you know, moab or you know you're you know the the um the tables are going to turn the script is going to flip or you know once you um you know once you receive the reward for you know whatever type of hell you you need to take or you know because you know we're, we're supposed to be um you know we're supposed to be a royal people all right you know so it really isn't in our spirit to um or you know um you know you know do work fellow orders and things like that or, you know and that's something that we you know we have to like humble ourselves all right to some extent you know given the situation you know for example you know all um, or you know that you know the people over us you know in this ministry are you know um you know being wise as a serpent you know in that context all right but you know other than that you know we're, we're a royal people or you know and part of the hell we have to catch is you know um or you know ha having to you know you know rely you know rely somehow on you know you know on um you know one of our oppressors all right but the scriptures i'm um, telling you you know you know that that you know one one day or you know that you know that's going to come to an end or you know when the kingdom is established all right and the last one we have you know right now going to be in um, all right st matthew 12 and 36 but i say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned all right you know and that's pretty much you know an admonition or you know and that's also a cut you know to to the people that um that come up against us that go off or, you know and then um you know but the heavenly father he's going to hold them you know accountable or you know for the things that they say and the things that they do or you know um you know because you know in the scriptures you know um as opposed to this world or you know as far as you know the ways of this world you know your word is um your, your word is you know written in paper and of course like and of course with this you know um you know the word of the, of the heavenly father is being you know codified and all that it's kind of like the same thing but you know um you know still you're judged by you know um are you know if you're gonna say if you're gonna say something or if you're gonna like say that you're gonna do something then you know you're you're held accountable are you know and even you know if you say something you know against you know the words of the heavenly father are you know are you know saying something you know against the scriptures and all that all right how about shimmy is gonna um you know hold you accountable for that or, you know and that you know that that's another scripture you know that that you know personally you know lifts me up all right because it it shows it shows me that um are you know the heavenly father you know he's are you know not only is he going to avenge us but he's also you know going to um are you know you know you know avenge avenge his word or you know and the people that are you know come up against it or you know for example you know um you know even you know that guy that uh you know you know built the titanic or whatever talking about not even god can sink this ship all right you know so uh, so you know he you know that that guy's destruction you know the, the lord the lord put him on the rocks i mean even you know they hit a fucking you know iceberg and shit all right so you know the heavenly father you know he um or you know he um you know he, he you know, it, it shows it, it shows you that um or, you know he uh, recompenses tribulation All right, but um, or you know, as of now, you know that that's it for now. Or you know, there's many other scriptures, way more than twelve. Or you know, this might be, or you know, or you know, a continuous thing. Or you know, just like the you know those top ten you know lists in the world. All right, here goes another top ten. All right, but um, or you know, I hope this was you know edifying. Or you know, just getting you know for those of you you know that are that might not be in the know. Or you know, get some scriptures and breakdowns you know under your belt. All right, you know, but um, we're going to wrap it up for now. All right, and then we're going to see you on the next go-around. All right, shalom.